Welcome to the University of Minnesota Adult Reconstructive Training Fellowship. My name is Ed Cheng, and I have the privilege of serving as a fellowship director. I've been on the University of Minnesota faculty for 30 years, and our department has a strong legacy of educating premier orthopedic surgeons fulfilling our department's mission, which is providing world-class, patient-focused orthopedic care to all, advanced by innovation and education. I'd like to introduce you to our department and the fellowship program. In case you're unfamiliar with our department, here are some faculty highlights. Drs. Ramon Castillo and Richard Kyle were founding members of the Orthopedic Trauma Association. In fact, Dr. Castillo's open fracture classification is widely used internationally, as I'm sure you're familiar with it. Drs. Mo, Bradford, Winter, Lancey, and Ogilvy are the editors for the textbook of scoliosis, which is widely recognized as the preeminent text in that disease. As far as implant innovation, Dr. Mo was innovative in designing the growing rod for scoliosis in pediatric patients. Dr. Kyle was involved in the design for the ACE titanium captured hip screw for introchanteric fractures. And Dr. Castillo has several innovations working with Smith and Nephew on the total knee of the Genesis model type and the axis knee for Southeast Asian populations. I've been involved with Depew for their orthogenesis limb preservation system and also with Biomet in helping them design and implement gap balancing instruments for their total knee system. Dr. Roby Thompson and Dick Kyle were presidents of the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Dr. Thompson was also a founding member of the Musculoskeletal Tumor Society. Dr. Mark Swinkowski has been president of the American Orthopedic Association. In terms of journal editors, the flagship journal of our field, the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery, is edited by Mark Swinkowski in our department and I've had the opportunity and honor to be the editor for the Essential Surgical Techniques Journal of the JBGS family. We have an active residency training program. We train eight residents per year at six hospital sites, including two level one trauma centers, a nationally recognized veteran administration hospital, and two children's hospitals. Our fellowship has been ACGME accredited continuously since 2001. The main training site is at the M Health Fairview Hospital Complex this consists of three hospitals and one outpatient center, each with fully functioning surgical services. The Riverside campus on the Mississippi River's West Bank is where the bulk of the orthopedic cases are performed. And the East Bank campus is reserved for trauma or patients with high-risk cardiac comorbidities requiring immediate critical care support. An outpatient joint arthroplasty program is established already at the outpatient surgery center. Transportation shuttles connect the campuses. In addition, some of our arthroplasty surgeons also perform cases at the TRIA Orthopedic Surgery Outpatient Center in the South Metro area or the Methodist Hospital in the Western suburbs. However, a major strength of the fellowship in my opinion, and one that differentiates it from other fellowships, is the comprehensive exposure to all aspects of adult reconstructive procedures. Examples of sample cases are posted on the fellowship website. While many fellowships are focused on one aspect of hip or knee replacement, with repetitive cases and exposure to different types of surgical exposures or type of implant, patients seen by the collective faculty in this training program cover the full gamut of adult reconstructive conditions and procedures, such as the young adult hip with femoral acetabular impingement or labral pathology, deformity correction and osteotomies, primary and complex revision arthroplasties, pathologic and periprosthetic fractures, complex pelvic and major skeletal bone and joint reconstruction, and custom and pelvic implants for major bone loss. We use implants from all the major manufacturers and we'll use surgical navigation and intraoperative CT for unique applications. The fellows have duties that are consistent with their training goals and we try to minimize work that is purely service related. The adult reconstructive service consists of a PGY4 resident, several physician's assistants, and a nurse practitioner who assists with inpatient management. The fellow makes out the case and clinic coverage assignments weekly in advance. My cases involve a high percentage of complex and revision cases. For this reason, fellows perform preoperative surgical planning. They review preoperative data, help select implants, help to coordinate care, and we have a weekly case planning conference that is documented on each patient's medical record. The fellows do not have any in regular inpatient weekly rounding duties with the exception of when the fourth year resident is either interviewing or on vacation, or taking the fall OITE in-training examination. Fellows are asked to split the weekend inpatient rounding 
with a resident and do so every other weekend. There are no call duties. There is, however, a requirement to complete a research project and submit it for publication. In addition, if you give a podium presentation at a professional society meeting, we will provide time off and fund your travel and lodging with an allowance. There are many strengths of this fellowship training program. This fellowship will prepare you for anything. You'll have a comprehensive experience to all areas of adult reconstructive orthopedics. There's a high level of experience with complex, multiply revised revision cases, severe bone loss, prosthetic joint infections, and oncology-related major endoprosthetic reconstruction. There are many unique and challenging cases. You'll have experience with all types of surgical exposure, including the extensile type. You'll have exposure to different techniques and surgical philosophies. For example, in the total knee, experience with gap ligament balancing or measured resection or kinematic alignment techniques. We try to minimize service-related work. You'll have the opportunity for professional networking. Many of our faculty are involved in national and international leadership positions and they can help you with your career goals. You'll work with fellowship faculty who genuinely care about you. We specifically do not assign any call duties. You have no regular weekday rounding. This fellowship program will prepare you for any type of professional career, whether it's in the academic environment, the community environment, or the so-called private-demic type of job. Prior fellows and their current positions are listed on the website for you to review. You will have the opportunity to partake in multiple other conferences and other educational activities as our department has a full residency program as well. And of course, we'll have dedicated office space. My practice is predominantly in hip surgery. My training is in arthroplasty and young adult hip surgery. Hip surgery is probably 70% of my practice or so, maybe 80%, and the rest of it is uh, knee uh, arthroplasty. On the hip side, um, young adult hip surgery is predominantly hip arthroscopy, uh, though there are obviously patients that need either surgical hip dislocation or more commonly uh, periastabular osteotomies. So on the arthroplasty side, I do hip replacements, hip resurfacings, and uh, revisions. So my practice is a pretty comprehensive hip, uh, hip practice. People should be interested in this program if they're interested in a really comprehensive view on arthroplasty. The arthroplasty experience here includes primaries, resurfacings, uh, revisions, complex revisions, and complex revisions into the megaprosthesis zone. The fellows here in, assist in surgery, uh, in inpatient patient care, in outpatient clinics, and in teaching the residents. It's uh, in that sense no different than any other fellowship program. Uh, there is a fair amount of autonomy uh, and it is graded towards your uh, ability set and so as as uh, fellows progress through the year uh, they tend to have more and more autonomy uh, which is a little bit different than some places where you're either thrown into the deep end immediately or really never get to swim on your own. When you're choosing a fellowship, if you choose to uh, train at an academic health center, you'll have the option to later go into academics. And so um, one thing that this program offers is the access to uh, significant resources to produce original research, research. and um, that is uh, an expectation of the fellows here is to produce uh, a manuscript that's worthy of publication. That um, can be a significant advantage in applying for jobs later, especially in academics. Your responsibility as a fellow here at the UMN is first and foremost, to gain the experience and the knowledge that you need for your future practice. Uh, this is being aided by every staff member here, uh, both in the OR and in clinic. My practice consists of mainly uh, primary and revision arthroplasty of hip and knee. There's ample uh, experience to be gained in that uh, within this fellowship.
Hello, my name is Ryan Lilly. I did the Adult Reconstruction Fellowship at the University of Minnesota with Drs. Chang, Horst, and Dahl in 2018-2019. I'm currently in private practice in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, where about 60% of my practice is arthroplasty and 40% is general orthopedics. I, uh, I can't say enough of positive things about the fellowship at the University of Minnesota. Uh, not only are you working with great surgeons, but you're also working with great people. They truly care about you as a person, in addition to your development as a surgeon throughout your fellowship year and subsequently after your graduation. The experience at University of Minnesota truly was tremendous for me. You do a wide variety of cases from standard primary total joint arthroplasty to complex total joints for things like deformity, post-traumatic conditions and fusion takedowns. Uh, and then you see a great variety of revision cases for infections, aseptic causes, fractures, and tumors. And those experiences, all the way from the primary to the most complex of the revisions, has really served me well uh, as I've started my practice over the last year and a half. The um, I can confidently say that after my experiences that there has not been a single arthroplasty case in my first year and a half in practice that I felt unprepared for after my training. Another positive aspect of the, the fellowship is that you use a, several different arthroplasty systems. And that's important as you're moving into practice to be confident and comfortable with multiple different systems, uh, whether you're gonna be at a major university setting or a smaller community hospital and especially if you're going to be doing revision surgery you want to be confident with several different systems which the University of Minnesota will help prepare you for that. Another positive aspect of the fellowship for me was the weekly preoperative planning sessions with Dr. Chang. It was an opportunity to look at cases coming up, uh, to think about them, to do templating and planning uh, for the primaries but also for the more complex cases. And that's a very important aspect of your practice once you're getting started, particularly for the revisions and the complex cases where you need to have multiple different plans available for plans A, B, C, D, and down the road. Uh, so you are well prepared for the case and can ultimately provide a, uh, or uh, perform a very good operation for your patient. And uh, for me, those planning sessions really were a nice transition uh, into my practice. So once again, I had a tremendous year at the University of Minnesota. Uh, I think it's a great place to train. It's a, it prepares you very well for, uh, for your practice. All right, hi, my name is Dr. Stuart Morrison. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Um, and I was fortunate enough to complete the University of Minnesota's uh, Adult Limb Reconstruction Fellowship in 2019. Um, this, without exaggeration, would probably be the most stimulating and informative year of all of my training. I had the opportunity to work with world-class surgeons who became role models. I learned technical skills pertaining to diagnosis and surgery, but also had instilled in me the thought processes and leadership tendencies critical to managing super complex, multi-operation, multidisciplinary tertiary orthopedic conditions. Faculty and surgeons allowed me increasing degrees of autonomy in decision-making as well as technical tasks as the year progressed all the while safely supervising the patient care that I was delivering. Um, so whether your interest lies in primary joint arthroplasty, complex revision and oncological reconstruction, or limb deformity correction, this fellowship provides you with the technical skills and humanity that will set you up for a really illustrious career in your chosen area. I would thoroughly recommend this fellowship. My name is Jeffrey Luna. I'm currently an orthopedic staff surgeon here at the Minneapolis VA Hospital. I do general orthopedics as well as adult joint reconstruction and tumor surgery. I was a University of Minnesota Adult Reconstruction Fellow under the guidance of Dr. Cheng from 2009 and 2010. And um, I can tell you right now that I had a very wonderful experience during that fellowship. Uh, not only was Minneapolis a beautiful city, but the uh, Department of Orthopedic uh, Surgery staff was very helpful in accommodating and uh, as well as very supportive, making my transition coming from a different state much easier. Uh, in regards to the fellowship, um, there were a lot of uh, complex revision cases, not only that, but including tumor cases. 
and I do believe that um, uh, managing uh, the tumor cases under the guidance of Dr. Cheng actually strengthened my experience in surgical skills doing adult, um, adult joint reconstruction um, um, surgery. So uh, in terms of this fellowship, I think um, you will come out and graduate having confidence managing your adult reconstruction um, cases. And um, you will enjoy this fellowship because uh, Dr. Cheng is an outstanding mentor and educator. And not only that, he's a very, very good friend too. Um, during the fellowship and outside of the fellowship. Um, if you need his help, he's always there to lend a helping hand. And I think that's what each fellow uh, needs after graduating. Thank you for watching this video. And we're delighted you're interested in our training program. We'd be excited to have you interview and also excited to train you and help prepare you for your career. Thanks.